Welcome back to Crazy Ball TV. I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition. Um, please share, subscribe, like, notification bottom. Please help us get out there. Uh, today, I'm just, just going to be chopping it up with you guys. Nothing biggie, nothing big going on this week. Um, last weekend was a beautiful game. Football is back with the fans in the stadiums, and it was amazing. Um, LFC played very well. We got our three, three points and three goals. So, hey, everything is all well. Um, today, guess what? I got mine. It came in today. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Rhonda and Will, you know, getting the man his uh, birthday present. Guys, this thing is nice. I mean, Nike, whew, they, they did it well. I mean, this thing, the color itself, um, this uh, standard chart is kind of like a plasticky um, um, lamented on it, the, the logo and the words. This one looks lamented, but it's not. It's actually embroidered. And it feels and looks like it's lamented, but it's actually embroidered on there. Um, Expedia on the side. This is the first time I see this on a regular. Uh, this is the um, the replica one. Um, I was trying to get the stadium one, but that one was going to take probably an extra, uh, an extra month. So I couldn't wait. I just wanted mine right now, uh, maybe. Well, I saved some money, so I'll maybe get the uh, the other away kit. I heard there's some people say it's yellow, some people say it's black. I don't know. But right now, this one is nice. It fits perfectly. It sits on you very well. So I can imagine how the uh, stadium one will look like and feel like. So, hey, guys, thank you so much, Rhonda and William. I appreciate you all hooking the boy up. Now I'm looking oh. Looking nice, you know, it fits. So, when you guys know when the, our guys start wearing this, I hope they wear one time at Anfield because this is something new. The whole color scheme, the feel of the jersey. Um, I mean, it's brand new. We always said that we didn't like these uh, cookie cut jerseys when uh, we had uh, Adidas and even when Nike was coming in. We didn't want to have a jersey where Everybody has it that is just, you know, different colors and different color schemes or whatever, you know? But this one, I'm telling you, I normally don't get nobody's name on the back of my jersey because, you know, I go for the club, not, not the player. So, hey, I'm feeling nice. Thank you. Anyway, guys, uh, in the transfer sphere, Nothing big going on. Um, still Doku and Sawu are the two main uh, links that we been, you know, the press and whatever media stuff have us attached to. Um, Basuma is still on the cards. Um, also, you know, sad to hear, but we heard that uh, Renato Sanchez got a knee injury and that might require surgery. So um, I think that one, we may want to put it to bed, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure LFC is not going to go for an injured player. Um, in terms of, uh, I mean, people are talking about Boeing because we don't have the um, non-homegrown quarter space available since Origi and Shakiri is still in the club, uh, possibly Minamino. But people are look, a lot of people are talking about Boeing. Um, honestly, I have not watched much about Boeing except maybe I catch a West Ham game or when West Ham play in Liverpool. But you know, he is a talented player. He, to me, he's more of a Milner type of player when Milner was in his younger days. Um, you know, he's quick. And he has good ball control. 
something. And he's a hard worker, which is probably one of the check mark that if you're going to play for a club, you need to have, you know? So he has great work ethic. So we don't know. He might be the option that we get if we can't get and we can't move anybody on, you know? Um, who else? Who else? Uh, I think Locatelli, you know, signed with Juve. So that one is gone. Anyway, also good news when well, we saw this picture. This guy is made out of iron, man. I would say two weeks, maybe you'll be back before the City game or Chelsea game. I don't remember, but he's already running, y'all. And I'm talking about Brave Heart Robo. You know, it was a bad ankle roll. You know, I'm pretty sure it was a very high ankle sprain. So uh, we're glad that nothing was broken. We know we heard that it was a few um, uh, ligament injuries, but that happens a lot when you roll your ankle that bad like that. So we're glad that he's back, giving us a timely boost. I mean, a lot of people are making fun and say, hey, Simicast literally just started and now Robo is back. But I'm pretty sure Klopp is not going to rush him. If anything, I probably see him maybe after the Burnley game. That's when maybe Klopp will play him. Maybe he'll come off the bench. Also, I did say Van Dyke might not start. And guess what Klopp did? So don't take my word for it. I'm just speculating. Um, will Klopp play Van Dyke or will he play Matip and Konate due to the physicality of uh, how Burnley, you know, play? So uh, right now, in terms of center backs, I mean, that's big headaches. But anyway, I know we got two more weeks for this transfer window. A lot of people are losing their mind. They don't know whether they should be happy or still be angry because they see that the team is good. Our team is almost complete. Yes, we do need maybe two. I say two. Three will be great, but two will be okay. Um, and we don't know if we're going to get anybody if Origi and Shakiri don't move on. But I'm pretty sure even if those two don't move on, we'll probably get uh, the English, you know, homegrown player in and Bowen is one of the guys that, you know, we're looking at. So um, I have no fear. I'm pretty sure we're going to do business before the window is closed. Uh, yeah, Klopp, is, he's happy. The players are happy. I mean, look at uh, Salah's face. He looked excited. Rumors are contract is almost done. Or all he has to do is, you know, just put it on paper. Um, we heard that uh, Henderson's also contract is also done and he also needs to sign his. So, hey guys, good news all around. You know, a lot of people think that it's just uh, a scheme that uh, FSG is doing so they don't have to buy new players. Guys, remember, not long ago that every summer we are always worried about our players being poached by so-called big club from somewhere. Now, Virgil is staying, Allison is staying, Trent is staying, uh, who else? Fab is staying, the, the whole spine of the team. Salah is next, Hendo is next. And then from what we hear, Mane and Firmino and Robo are the next one in line. So guys, we, we should be celebrating this. Now, if we add two more to this, then it's happy, happy, happy summer. You know, don't forget, we did get Konate, because that was the priority. Um, anyway, guys, please share, subscribe, like, uh, click the notification bell. I uh, you know, thank you so much for joining me once again. Guys, this, hey, if you can, save some money and go get one of these, because this is a collector's item. I know it has a throwback feel to this, but this is nice. It's sitting on me. Whew. I'm at work to work tomorrow. Whew. Hey guys, thank you so much. I'm Archie. Thank you for joining Quincy Bowl. Peace.